Adrian Rogers, Artistic Director for Product Club. And today we're going to explore different foiling techniques such as a partial, a half, and a full. These are each different as it pertains to whether you're doing maintenance hair color or creative hair color. We're going to explore the different pricing that you can use, different timing that you can use, and we're going to give you a really good rounded education on when each of them is your best choice. When doing a full head of highlights on a new client, you're going to get a global application that moves throughout the head. Highlights, you have to make a lot of decisions. And for this particular design, I went with a horizontal highlight that moved right up the side of the head. When you wrap in a horizontal motion, especially with slices, it's going to move out of the head like a sheet of color. When a client comes in with a darker head of hair and they wanna be blonde that day, it's not a realistic expectation to have it happen in one appointment. By doing a full heavy highlight of slices on a brunette, you're going to get a soft shift of color when it's a global application. So I've gone through this whole head with horizontal foils other than the front where I did a diagonal hairline and it creates a beautiful shift of color as you move through the head, lightening it visually in a global manner. A full highlight means that the design is going to touch all parts of the head. So depending on where the person is looking, you will always see some highlights happening. A full highlight is a great tool for making great strides in lightening someone's hair with the predictability and the design of the foils. You can use them to really execute clean, perfect wraps. Partial highlight is the workhorse of the salon. Whether I'm using it in design work, like creating some highlights around someone's face or a little expression of color through the front, or whether I'm using it for maintenance, it is a much more efficient use of time than a full epic highlight. Often people will come in with hair that doesn't have any highlights and they're just looking for a little something and that's when I would use a partial artistically. I also use it artistically when I'm doing a lot of single processes. While the single process is processing, I might go in and put a few highlights in, give them a partial expression of light through their hair. This partial is a mohawk partial. It is going through the top of this mannequin's head in order to create lightness all through the front and the top. This is a highly highlighted mannequin with a lot of blonde. And the first thing that they're going to see growing out is right in that part area. So the partial's job in this case is to come through and blur those lines of demarcation that are the highlights growing out of the head. You wanna soften their visual impact so that the client gets better longevity out of their highlighting application. The partial is great for that, especially in this mohawk wrap because it goes so quickly through the head. As you can see, it's going vertically up and over the top of the head. So each of these will fall down in this way in a more linear fashion. In the past, I have shied away from the mohawk wrap because of the points of origin sometimes appearing too linear throughout the hair. You can see each seam, but with the design evolution of using base drops and shadowing of roots, this is a really easy applicable wrap that is quick and efficient. When we're thinking about what the difference is between a partial, a half, and a full, I've decided to wrap this so that we can dissect it together and really understand what each of those things are. So in the pink foils, this is my partial. You can see this is a diagonal wrap and I went through the top of the head diagonally covering that front little portion. I was ultra generous and I gave them a little highlight around the side too, nice like that. So then I moved into my half. Now, for me, my half is the partial plus all of the rose gold foils in here. I always think about a half when you wanna make sure that you have a concentration of foils on the sides of the head. Because the partial only comes through the top, via gravity that will fall over the rest of the hair and create a general sense of lightness. But if you pull any of that hair back, you're gonna see a lot of depth on the interior of the sides. Doing a half head solves that problem. I have quite a few clients that are very concerned with how light their hair appears when they pull their hair back. For them, I usually skip a partial and do a half because I know that that is an important moment for them in their blondness. So for this one, 
on, when we're coming through the side diagonally, all of this hair will also be included. And then I go a little bit further into the back of the head than the partial does. So let's review that. My partial is my pink foils on the top and the single plus the partial are the rose gold foils through the middle and then all of the stuff on top. So a half is a comprehensive coverage through the sides and the top of the head with a nice little veil of color floating through the back of the head. The silver foils in the back are my full. Now, one of the things I wanna point out is the half is not epically different than the full. One of the things I wish that I had thought of when doing my pricing the price should not be that much less for a half than a full. I recommend that you do it a little bit less than a full because you're not doing these, but a half head is quite a bit of work. So make sure that you charge accordingly because as you can see, I only have probably eight to 10 foils back in here that constitute my full. So the full head is the foil in the back that is silver, the rose gold through the sides, and the pink through the top. This is the dissection of a full head to a half to a partial. A colorist tools are really important to get the outcome that you're looking for. This is our pop-up dispenser. It holds our pop-up foils, which are a great choice for any highlighting. It's a nice, generous foil with a textured surface so that it stays in the head and helps eliminate slipping. It's five inches wide and 11 inches long and is practical for all kinds of uses. When you choose a brush for highlighting, you wanna think about the kind of highlight that you're doing. If you're doing a highlight that's going all the way to scalp, I like to use the Ergo brush because it has a nice clean finish on the end. That way you can get all the way close up to the scalp with a really good, strong application. Our feathered bristle brush, every bristle has a softened end, so it's feathered on the top. Any sort of feathering application that you're going to do is going to be greatly aided by the proper brush, the feathered bristle brush. This is one of our sectioning clips. These are amazing because the hinge in here helps hold lots of hair. It's great for sectioning the hair and holding larger chunks of hair. These are our grip clips. This is an amazing clip when you're highlighting because you are able to use the flat surface. It won't put any indentation and they stay in your hand with these nice little rubber tips. It's a great highlighting clip. I love also to use our balayage clips when I'm foiling. It's a very nice, tiny little clip that can get into all sorts of small areas and lift foils up when you need to get underneath. Highlighting boards are an amazing tool, and when you need one, you definitely want to have one of these. If you're looking to saturate the ends of hair that you're worried about getting through, this is perfect because it has a hard surface underneath and you can really apply that color and make sure that you get full saturation on the end of the hair. And of all things, this is my favorite. I love a pintail comb. The Product Club pintail comb is perfect because it has an elongated tail, which is really helpful when you use a comb to fold foils. Clarifying when to use a partial, a half, or full was our goal for this video. We've approached each of those in a horizontal, vertical, and diagonal aspect. We've talked about points of origin. We've talked about diameter of the head and where the hair color is going to fall for a global application or a partial or half application. I hope that this helped you understand when to utilize each of these, making sure that you book properly and that you're paid properly.